We just want them to have a Christian alliance. Thank you. thank you, Senator Grindel, Representative Jones, Senator Muir, and we're very thankful that these pro-life senators and representatives have co-signed a number of them in both the House and Senate to support the resolution to stop <laughs> FOCA presents the greatest challenge to pro-life Americans and Ohioans that we've ever seen in the 35 years, 36 years since Roe v. Wade became law. The states have moved to restrict and to regulate abortion since that infamous decision in 1973. And today we are allied with a number of pro-life groups that have worked tirelessly over the years and the decades to help women who are in the position of, uh, of an unplanned pregnancy to help them to understand the value of life and, of course, to bring meaningful legislation and regulation to abortion in the state of Ohio. Ohio has played a key role throughout the years by passing one of the nation's first partial birth abortion bans, the horrific uh, procedure that uh, uh, late-term abortion that kills an unborn child. I think it is fitting that we are in the ladies' gallery today because Abortion is an issue that touches women's lives in a way that stays with them for many years after the fateful decision of an abortion. We are here to represent the women of Ohio. We're here to represent the unborn and to make that stand. The resolution, SCR 6, will send a strong message to the Ohio uh, congressional delegation that pro-life Ohioans do not want to see FOCA become law. The great concern is here is that the Obama administration pledged when he was yet a senator and co-sponsor with Senator Hillary Clinton at that time in the last session of Congress that they supported FOCA, the, the so-called Freedom of Choice Act. Now as president, President Obama during his campaign said to Planned Parenthood that he would see this become law. We can only presume that it is the president's intent and those members of Congress that want to see abortion <coughs> into a law here in the United States that would preclude Ohioans and for many of the states bringing meaningful and reasonable legislation and restrictions on abortion. So we're very pleased this morning to have the alliance of various pro-life groups. And I'd like to introduce Mike Gunadakis, the Executive Director of Ohio Right to Life. I'm going to ask Mr. Peggy Later, our former president of Ohio Right to Life. There's no better advocate than Peggy yourself, Shannon Jones, and Ohio House to respect uh, and know that you'll carry this uh, this resolution in the House. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, my, my remarks will be brief because I believe we're all speaking from the, with the same voice here. Uh, FOCA is real, uh, fully expected to be introduced soon in Congress. And, and, and the point of the matter is this isn't a partisan issue. It's not a Republican issue. It's not a Democrat issue. It's a life issue. It, it, it's, it's an issue that, that will, if passed, will harm pregnant women, women who find themselves in unintended pregnancies. And, and with this resolution, we're going to state with a loud voice, not just to Ohioans, but nationwide, that the seventh largest state in this country opposes this. Um, I can tell you we fully expect and hope that the Ohio Hospital Association will be involved because what FOCA does, which a lot of people don't realize, is will force hospitals, specifically Catholic hospitals, uh, Riverside Methodist here locally, would have to, would be required to perform abortions, abortions when we lose federal funding. So we hope the Ohio Hospital Association, the Catholic Conference, and obviously the men and women in this room um, will support Senators Rendell and Muir and Representative Jones and the other men and women who have signed on to this resolution. So thank you very much. Good morning. My name is Bobby Raddick, and I am the State Director for Concerned Women for America. I'm here representing the nearly 27,000 members we have in Ohio, and I'm here to support the efforts of Senator Grindel and Senator Buer and Representative Shannon Jones in regards to Senate Bill or Senate Resolution 6, urging the U.S. Congress not to pass FOCO. The pro-life issue is one of CWA's six core issues. We believe that life begins at conception and ends in natural death. It is appropriate, then, that we stand together with Chris Long of Ohio Christian Alliance and those in these other pro-life groups as one voice to speak up against the radical attempt to sweep aside existing laws and bring abortion on demand into American law. Thanks so much for being here. Next, we have Virginia Klein and Parky and I have. I have a question. All right. <laughs> we thank you for being here. My name is Virginia Klein. I'm the Director of Public Impact for Heartbeat International. With me today is um, 
Aaron Ness with the Ohio Pregnancy Resource Alliance, Rindy Brooks with Heartbeats of Licking County, um, Susan Lau, Columbus Right to Life, and Denise Sayers, an abortion recovery support group leader from Pregnancy Decision Health Center, and these are affiliated with Heartbeat International. Denise has experienced the trauma of abortion. She found healing from abortion at our pregnancy center, and now she volunteers to help other women traumatized by abortion. I thought it was very important that she stand with us today in our support for Senate Joint Resolution 6. We're just so grateful to Senator Grendel, Senator Buer, and Representative Jones for putting forth this resolution. Heartbeat is a nonprofit association of nearly 1,100 pregnancy resource centers, pregnancy help medical clinics, maternity homes, nonprofit adoption agencies in 46 states and in 46 other countries. The nonprofit faith based community organizations affiliated with Heartbeat are dedicated to providing hope and support each woman needs when faced with an unexpected baby. Many, are, many of these associations, or excuse me, organizations are devoted to providing abortion recovery services at no charge to the client. Today, I represent Heartbeat International President Peggy Hartshorn, our board of directors, which includes Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s niece, Alveda King, and hundreds of affiliates in the U.S. and thousands of Heartbeat supporters. Most importantly, I'm here on behalf of the thousands of Ohio women and families served by the 85 Heartbeat affiliated faith-based community organizations in our great state. These pregnancy support service provi providers promote childbirth, the public policy encouraged by our state's government. And I'm here today to applaud Senator Grendel, Senator Buer, and Representative Jones, and to thank their esteemed colleagues in the Ohio Senate who are sponsoring Senate Joint Resolution 6, which opposes the federal legislation known as FOCA. By voting for this resolution, our senators and representatives will preserve a public policy that represents the will of Ohioans to prefer childbirth over aborting a baby. Thank you very much.